Good morning and welcome to Morning Magazine, or RFES Morning Show. Today is Monday, December 13th. It is Rotation Day 2. I'm your anchor, Kaz K. Let's get our day started with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Code of Conduct. Doing the pledge today are students from Ms. Delgatti's class. Please introduce yourselves. Evelyn? Kyle? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am a Rogers Ford student, therefore, I am respectful, I am responsible, I am safe, I am prepared. We are here to learn, therefore, I will do nothing to keep my teachers from teaching or anyone else from learning. I'll cooperate with my school family, I'll support myself, others, and the environment. Please be seated. Nice job, first graders, from Miss Delgatti's class. And I do believe on Friday, Miss Delgatti's class got to wear PJs. I think they were celebrating some really awesome behavior. Also on Friday, our second graders were dressed as idioms. The cat's out of the bag. Butterflies in my stomach. Who spilled the beans? Awesome job. I love those. One was just more creative than the other. Everyone is just working so hard. So we have this week, and then we've got three and a half days next week until winter break. So with the virtue of trust for the month of December, I trust that you're going to continue to do an awesome job as we count down to winter break. So, Mr. Holden, as always on a Monday, how about those Ravens? What a game. Just completely unbelievable. <laughs> All right, and more unbelievable are all these Peacemaker nominations that keep rolling in. I never get tired of them, whether it's in the morning or at dismissal. So let's share some of our fantastic students. Congratulations, Lucy, from Miss Delgatti's class, nominated by Evelyn, for the virtue of friendliness, for talking to me at lunch, and for being kind. We've got Robert from Mrs. Thomas's class. Oh, my goodness, Robert greets me every morning with a hug. Makes my day. Robert, you are just so incredibly kind, but you're being nominated by Ms. Thomas for responsibility for completing your work. Congratulations, Blaze. You are nominated by your teacher, Mrs. Osgood, for friendliness, for being cooperative and following the rules while playing sharks and minnows. She even drew you a little cute smiley face. Nikos is nominated by his teacher, Mrs. Thomas, a first grader, for responsibility for working so hard on handwriting. My goodness, we could all use a little extra practice with handwriting, all of us, after all those computers for the past year and a half. Congratulations, Owen, nominated by Evelyn, first grader in Ms. Delgatti's class for friendliness, for helping me at the sink and being kind. Mrs. G, your, uh, your student intern is being nominated, I believe. No, 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 this is wrong. Let me start over again. Whoop, take two. Ms. Delgatti, your intern, Mrs. G, is being nominated by Evelyn for service and for being kind of giving me a glue stick when mine broke. We wanted to make sure that we read this one on Monday because Mrs. G would be here. Addie from Miss Trainer's fourth grade class is nominated by Gianna for friendliness, for being a great friend. These are great nominations. Keep them rolling in. I love it, love it, love it. Make it a great day of learning, Rogers Forge. And as always, remember to be kind. Time to take a look at birthdays for today. Happy birthday to Grace P. who is celebrating today. Be sure to stop by the office for a special birthday treat and have a great day. We want to thank you today for joining us on Morning Magazine. Let's get our Monday off to an amazing start. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another great show. For my birthday reporter, Rowan K., I'm Kaz K., wishing you a great day.